Investigators continue to search for a motive after a gunman opened fire yesterday at a Washington Naval Yard. 34-year-old Aaron Alexis killed 12 people before he was fatally shot by police. Authorities believe he acted alone. They say Alexis was a defense contract employee and was being treated for mental illness. The fall session of Quebec's National Assembly is reopening to tension and turmoil. There's growing disapproval over the proposed Charter of Values. It would ban public sector employees from wearing religious symbols in the workplace. Quebec's opposition parties want big changes to the Charter. Another item on the fall agenda is dying with dignity legislation that would allow doctor-assisted suicide for terminally ill patients. A settlement has been reached in a class action lawsuit against the Ontario government. The province says it will pay $35 million to former residents of the Huronia Regional Centre. Until it closed in 2009, it was an institution for people with disabilities. Some residents allege they were humiliated and abused on a daily basis. The province says they will also issue a formal apology. Canada Post rolled out a new service today, same-day delivery of online purchases. The pilot project will start in Toronto in partnership with Best Buy, Future Shop, Indigo and Walmart. If customers place an order before noon, they can have it delivered by 9 p.m. that same day. Canada Post says the project, which runs until December, is to test whether customers will pay more for quicker service. Mission accomplished. Overnight engineers successfully pulled the Costa Concordia cruise liner into a fully upright position. It was a delicate and complicated process that took 19 hours. Repairs will be made to stabilize the vessel before it's towed to the mainland. A renewed search will also take place for two bodies never recovered after the ship capsized off the coast of Italy last year, killing 32 people.